Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, this time, this is going to be a review slash demo on a new permanent hair color that I recently picked up from Sally Beauty Supply. It's called the Silk Elements Mega Silk Permanent Hair Color System. And the color that I picked was Dazzling Auburn. And this is what the color result would look like if you can just, if you can see that. But, um... I picked this up from Sally Beauty Supply when I went to go trade in another permanent hair color, which was dark and lovely, and that one wasn't the right color, so I traded it in for this color. I'm actually pretty familiar with Silk Elements because I use their semi-permanent hair color, which I absolutely love, and I will be doing a review on that sometime later, but um, today, I'm going to give you my review, and I am going to color my hair today. So after this, I'm going to um, unpackage it at first, and then after this, I will show you how I mix the color together, apply the color, and then after the whole process is done, I give you my thoughts about it. Okay, so let's start off with me unpackaging it. Inside, you have the um, developer cream. I don't know how many volume of developer it is, but there's a developer cream. This is the permanent hair color cream right here. Um, you got the gloves. Now, originally the gloves were attached to the instructions, but I end up ripping them off so I can use them later on. So here they are. And you have the conditioner right here. And this is actually quite new. This is a pre-color treatment. I have never used this. I've never used this before with a permanent hair color before. So this is actually pretty new. So I will be testing this out. And last but not least, we have the instructions here. So I'm going to put this all together later on. And then I will show you how I apply the color. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I kind of cheated a little bit here, and I applied some of the pre-color treatment to my hair directly since that's what the instructions said. But um, actually, the instructions tell you you can apply the pre-color treatment in two ways. One, you can apply it directly to your hair and scalp. Or two, you can mix it in with the um, cream developer and the color cream. So I kind of cheated and took some of the pre-color treatment and applied it to my scalp. But now I'm going to use the rest of it, as you can see here. And I'm going to apply it to the developer cream and the color cream. So according to the instructions, I'm supposed to, well, I'm supposed to take this off first. So got to take this off. That, that, that was the tip here. And take that off. And then it says to pour the entire contents of the pre-color treatment into the bottle. So I'm going to do that right now. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but uh, yeah. I'm pouring it into the bottle right now. And this might take a minute. Okay, I just had to skip ahead for a minute since it took me kind of a long time to actually um, put the stuff into the developer cream. So now I'm going to take the color cream here and I'm going to open it. As you can see here, and it says here to press it like this. Uh, okay, there we go. And empty this entire, entire tube into the de developer cream bottle into this bottle here, so if it could just, oh jeez, this is like really hard to squeeze. This tube is like really hard to squeeze. So, I apologize if it's not going as smooth as, as I want it to be. But, uh. Try to 
do, trying to do this neat. Oh yeah, and make sure you get all the color color um, cream out of the tube, even though the tube is like extremely hard to squeeze. Almost got it all. Okay, I think that might be all of it. Okay, as you see, I got all of it out. Bravo. Okay, now it says here to, to apply it entirely and then place a glove finger. I have a glove right here that I've been holding on to for a while, so I'm going to use that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake this up. So I'm going to pick up the camera and shake it up for you, okay? And you're supposed to shake it up until it's well, well, thoroughly mixed. Okay. And now we got to shake it up some more. Okay. Okay, guys. I think the color's been thoroughly mixed. Oops. Okay. That's the mix. That's the mix solution right there. So what I'm going to do, I already am wearing my um, old T-shirt. I'm gonna go and get this color applied, and I will be back. Okay, see you soon. Everyone, I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but I just got done taking care of my color, and I will try to give you a good shot here. I just got done applying it. So, that's what it looks like against my hair. It was actually pretty easy to spread. I applied it all over my head. And, um, like I said, it was really easy to spread. And it is turning the color. It is turning a different color on my head here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my mess here I made a little bit of a mess and this is what the bottle looks like this is what the bottle looks like after I've used it it's um there's not much in here not much in here because I end up using a lot of it there's still some left but I still have to throw it away regardless so it doesn't you know explode and down here are my gloves that I've used so so, yeah, I got done applying the color, and what I'm going to do is I am going to throw a shower cap on and leave it in for 30 minutes. And when I'm done, I will rinse it out and do the conditioning part, and then I will come back to you to give my pointers. So, 30 minutes in my time and about a second in yours, so stay tuned. Okay, I can say for now that this color is actually pretty, it's pretty good. It could be a little bit better. 
It didn't make my hair stiff when I used it, and the processing time was actually quite gentle. So it's true to its word when it says it's very gentle and it has low ammonia. So I'm guessing that that was a contributing factor. And rinsing it out was really easy. It was a lot easy. It was an easy rinsing method. It was an easy rinsing um, process than when I use Shea Moisture Hair Color System which I will talk about in another review later on. But um, rinsing was very easy, although the color, and I do have pictures of that, which I will show you. The color, I wish it could have came out as the same color as was shown on the box, but I think that's because my hair is already as dark enough as it is. So I might have to lighten it a bit in order to get the color that I want. But otherwise, my hair took the color very well. The process was completely gentle. And this conditioner, they need to sell this conditioner separately because it is really, really good. And I still have some left so I can get like another use out of it before I have to um, recycle the whole thing. Um, I'm going to keep the box so I can keep my um, semi-permanent hair colors that I'm going to use to touch the color up. And overall, I would give it four stars out of five. It's really, really good. It's very cheap. It's Somewhere between 3 to $5. It could be a little bit less if you have a Sally's Beauty card. But it's really good. Give this, give this hair color a shot. So, yeah. That's my review on it. And yes, I would try it again. But I would try... A, um, I would probably try lightening my hair a bit first. Maybe bleaching it a little bit. I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. But I might have to lighten my hair first before I actually try this color again. But... I would definitely try it again. It's very gentle. So if you like my review, leave your comments. If you actually tried this color, let me know how it worked for you. And if you like it, make sure you leave a like. And that's my review on it. So see ya.